right, we are fucking rolling. I think we got everything all set up. Let's see how much of my shit stays on and doesn't fall off uh, while we explore the Abbott Loop neighborhood. Uh, a good bit of this will be edited, but um, I got cameras on both sides of the car. We are rolling deep. And check it out. I hooked up the right camera here onto the mirror so we may make adjustments. That's a pretty slick little feature I like right there. Very happy about that. Anyways, we are off. Let's go explore the Abbott Loop neighborhood. This is an area that is one of the more popular areas of Anchorage. Uh, it still has affordable housing in the grand scheme of top to bottom. It falls right in the median price range. Um, it's got two beautiful parks and the roads are kept really, really well maintained throughout the snowy spring fall yeah, well basically the rest of the year <laughs> it isn't right now so uh we're gonna stop here this is uh, my favorite park uh you'll also notice in front of me lots of people jogging as we go along on the right there's this massive trail system that runs all through here that is just a, a wonderful wonderful uh way to stay in shape and just be out and about so uh, we're going to go ahead and make our turn as we get a chance here because this guy's turning. And then what we're going to do is just cruise on down, hit some of the neighborhoods, and then we'll finish up at the dog park that's on the other end of the main neighborhood. Neighborhood garage sales, lots of people walking along. Lore Road. This is one of the main roads that kind of bisects the neighborhood. Um, so there's a lot of little cul-de-sacs and dead ends and all these little turnoffs on this main road. We're going to turn down a few of them so you can kind of see the houses, the cars, the people. Make your own judgments on whether this seems like an area that you might want to live in. Also note the horse farm to the left. Yeah, they actually do ride horses around the neighborhood, which is a cool treat to see. Um, we are going to annoyingly do the speed limit because, uh, you know, people. Um, here's a little area called White Hawk Drive. This is just, like I said, one of those little neighborhoods. We're going to take a quick little turn off here. But as you can see, um, a lot of cookie cutter style houses put together fairly close together. Not a lot of land per square foot on each house, but wonderful neighbors great people to be around <clears throat> um, looks like we might be losing one of our video mounts here we're gonna have to go correct that in just a second um, we have a cul-de-sac up ahead here we're gonna park real fast just give me a moment while I tighten up the old camera so we don't lose it because Might need to find a slightly more secure mechanism of uh, attaching the other camera here. Oh, no, it's not recording. Hang on a second here. All right, 
right, we're back. Cruising the hood. We'll keep an eye on that one. Go sideways again. Yeah, just a nice little neighborhood here. Oh, let's keep it safe. Abbott Loop. Fill that in. Look at this. Snow's already melted. We got these maintained lawns. Everybody's out doing their summer thing. So, dead end over here to the right. We're gonna take this little left here, get us back to a street that takes us anywhere else. What's really cool about this neighborhood too is that you are walking distance if you really want to from a Walgreens, uh, Safeway or Cars, whatever you wanna call it, depending on where you're from. Um, just, just a great little neighborhood. Most of the houses here were built uh, with three plus bedrooms in them. So lots of families in this neighborhood, lots of uh, multi-generational living as well. Uh, and then for all you haters that are gonna mention I'm not full stopping at the stop signs, I know you don't either, so don't fucking even bring it up. Everybody in every video is like, you don't stop at all the stop signs. Yeah, there's nobody here. I'm not going to stop at every stop sign. So, uh, if that bugs you, drop a comment. Because <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Anyway, uh, there's some definite, uh, a couple houses in the neighborhood that look like they could use some love. local law enforcement over here. We're going to go back up this main street here, and we're going to go find that other dog park. Speaking of dogs, there's a little dog getting walked right there. More people jogging, just places to run around here, like so much sidewalk, both sides of the street. Um, and like I said, really well maintained. Uh, even a little bit of a, what looks like a bike path. Uh, Hard to tell because people, you know, right on the sidewalks, but what it is. Um,
right, guys, here we go. Full stop on this one. Here we go. Making the left turn. Great neighborhood for dogs, by the way. I'm telling you, like, everybody's got dogs. Look, we got another guy here with some dogs. What's up, dude? Push the stroller around. Have fun with the kids and the baby. Um, yeah, just, just a wonderful little neighborhood. Through, taking a little look see uh, we're gonna turn up 80th here towards the main road want to show you guys that other park I was talking about with the dogs in there because the really cool thing is you can walk from here about a half a mile and you're at this amazing park for kids and it's this badass dog park um, two different sets of kennels by the way so the small dogs can play with the small dogs, the big dogs can play with the big dogs. Uh, we had a blast bringing our dogs down here. Oh look, we can learn on those scoops. Scoop, scoop. Bones holding on for dear life. Looks like we might lose in one of these bumps. It's gonna be an expensive bumpy bump. This also connects right up to Lake Otis Parkway, which is one of the huge bisecting roads in Anchorage. So this allows you really easy access to go anywhere you want. We're gonna go right. But if one was to turn left, you would uh, be heading towards the Safeway, Walgreens, all the commercial stuff. As we turn right though, we're going to go explore a little bit more of the neighborhood and see what's on the other end here.
Again, we're back on Lower, turning down Lower Road. Lower Road, for some reason, gets split in half. You can't actually drive from one end of Lower all the way down to the other, which is a little weird. But, you know what? Uh, Anchorage, when they were doing zoning and like road planning and stuff, I think they just literally gave it to somebody's cousin who wasn't too bright and just let him do whatever he wanted. Because it's commercial, there's multiplexes, there are just every kind of different house option you can think of in almost every area of this this town so it's amazing um a lot of good investment opportunities too this whole section we're about to drive through a lot of duplexes fourplexes multiplexes um definitely a little bit more of a working class situation down here but again uh beautiful parks uh, Anchorage spends more money per capita per park than any other big city that has more than 200,000 people in it. It is just out of control. Um, let's see here. We are going to finish up at the park, maybe hit the garage. Ooh, garage sale. Huh? Daddy likes a garage sale. Full stop here. Let, let the people move ahead. So, what we're coming up here is Whisper Faith. Kobach Park. Uh, this is one of my favorite parks because it has so much for the kids to do. Uh, they actually have clean porta potties and the dog runs are amazing. So uh, we're going to pull in here real quick, hit the drone, and uh, just kind of see what the world looks like from above. Let's see if we can do this without running over the camera and it's going to fucking fall off. All right. Do, do, do. Pulling in, pulling in, here we go. All right, I got to shut off the main cameras here to use the drone, so peace. We about to go live with the drone at the park. Show you guys what it's like living over here in this, uh, this little Abbott Loop neighborhood situation. I just spilled my coffee every fucking way. Whatever. Let's do it. Hold on. <laughs> 